Okay, let's get into how to make your first mini badge. First thing that you want to do is to come over to KiCad.org, download KiCad, the latest version here. It's very good, has a lot of features, functionality, and once you've done that, Come over here to GitHub, to Luke Jenkins, mini badge. And then you want to come to KiCad version 6. It's a little old, but you want to download the symmetry and this pretty folder right here, all these mods to get you all the files you need ready. Make sure that you remember where you save these off to as the location is needed in KiCad. So let's open up KiCad here. Let's do a new project. Let's do a KiCad mini badge learning. Create this project here. And then, so you can tell, let's get this, uh, we can leave this one small. You have your schematic and your PCV. But first, you want to come up here and you want to manage your symbol library. And here, this is where you want to come and click this add existing library button right here. And this is where you need to go out and find that symmetry file that you downloaded and stored in some location. I have all my KiCad stuff stored on my E drive in a KiCad folder. Easy way to go through. And then once you've done that, you want to do that same with the footprints and choose your location and make sure that folder is added so it can all be there. Okay, once that's done, you want to come in. This will be the first of multiple parts of the series. First one I want to get you into, just making up the basic schematic and moving over to the PCB. And that's where we'll stop in this session. So over here, let's make this big on the side. I'm sure if I can make this side bigger. Uh, I think I can, but we'll get that zoomed in. And over here, I'm going to add a symbol or you can just press A as a shortcut. The shortcuts are kind of listed there. And let's make this bigger so everyone can see. The first thing I want to do is do mini badge. As you can tell, there's lots of different options here. I want to do SyncCon because the simplified ones, as you can tell, I've downloaded it multiple times. I want to just choose the simple has a clock, VBAT, and 3.3 volts in ground. This is your basic mini badge. If you are doing I squared C or any of the other stuff, then you don't need to go into this full mini badge. You just do the simple one. So we want to click OK. I like to put it up here in the corner. And then I like to come over here to the add power, or else you can hit P and search for 3.3 volts. Rotate that, put that right by the 3.3 volts, click again, and do a search for GND, which is ground. Some people don't like to do this part. 
but I like to as it's much easier to run circuits. So let's do VBAT. Okay. And then come over here and there's this add global variable or control L. Click that, type in CLK for clock. I like to make it bi-directional, hit OK. Come up here, put it there. Then you want to come over and do an add wire or W. And you just want to connect these. Together. This should go nice. Let's zoom in. So you can see this. Zoom the object. Okay. Once you have that all connected, you can zoom out. And we'll want to come over here. Now, let's say we want to add an LED. So let's add a symbol. Go back to L, do LED. There's a lot of different options. I usually just choose a basic one. I like to rotate it around. I like to keep my grounds over on the right. And let's add a resistor. For beginners, I like to do the bigger ones, 1206s or an 0805. Make it easy on them. Doesn't matter what side you want to put the resistor, just put it on. Go back and hit your arrow. And Let's have these selectable by the user. So let's add a jumper. Let's do a three prong jumper. Uh, let's do it a solder one. So it looks nice. Turn around, put it there. Okay, that's our basic one right now. So we want to take our 3.3 volts, control C, control V, and put that on one side, and do the same with the clock. Just like that, and we need our ground. Okay, once you have these set up, now you want to interconnect them. So let's zoom in on this section. I'm going to sit and select all these. That's our basic resistor LED circuit. We use the clock to make it blink or keep it solid. Or if it's self-changing, you want to do it up to 3.3 volts to keep it solid. You want to need now to go back to that to select items and you want to select an item and press E. This will let you go in and now we need to choose the footprint. This will take a sec. So it loads up the footprint. We're going to do one through hole uh, LED and one SMD LED. As this loads, it is taking it a little bit to go through and see all the footprints. Okay, that's usually the first time because some of the spark fun has some issues. So I selected the jumper. So let's hit the jumper. There's a lot of options that show up. We want to go to the jumper with three. I like the rounded ones and let's see, rounded and open. Notice there's no thing in between them. 
and hit OK. And then you'll see it pop up here, and then hit OK again. Now we want to go to our resistor. It's pre-populated with a footprint, but the footprint's not the right one that we want. I like to type in resistor and come down to R underscore 1206 hand soldering. Perfect. And hit OK, OK. Come over to the LED, click E. For this one, let's do a through hole. Uh, let's go down. Let's not do horizontal. Let's do it vertical. Three millimeter. The pads. Hit OK. And then OK. Well, let's go back into this. There are different symbols on it. Some are better than others. So you can tell that uh, LED. So if I do LED 3.0, they give you different aspects. You can see the silk screen on it. And you can see that some of these are easier to see how the LED goes over others. I like it better when it has a more distinguished line. on it, which I don't think any of these have. This one's not bad with the, the lines on the side there to show. Where it's at. Lots of different options. So if you want to do hand soldering, this one's a really good one, 1206. Let's do a 1206 LED. Let's do this one SMD. Hit OK. And now we need to do our mini badge too. So the footprint. If you come in, do SyncCon, you'll get it all in. The, the normal ones that they do, they have this nice square aspect. I have modified my mini badge minimal with rounded corners, which I prefer. So let's hit OK to do my customized one. I'll do another video on how you can customize these footprints later. Then we hit OK. And let's now highlight this whole thing. The reason why I like to do this on the side and not have it directly connected in with this is that I can now copy that whole circuit and paste it somewhere else. So that one's an SMD LED. Now I can come in here and I can change this footprint on this LED now to Let's see, a three millimeter. One, hit OK, hit OK. Now that's all done. And it's saved over all the other aspects. So this resistor, if I go look at it, has that same footprint, SMD, all works perfectly and great. Okay, from here, uh, now you can hit save. Then you want to come up here and do switch to PCB editor. This will bring up the PCB board. Let's make this big. Uh, let's do view, zoom to fit. Okay, now up here, or you can hit F8 or click this button up at the top here to update PCB from the schematic. 
hit update. Goes through, make sure there's no errors or anything else. Hit close. Now you have all your parts. So you want to plop them right in the middle there. Let's see, view, zoom to object. Let's zoom in. Okay, now we have our whole board here. Make sure you click off to the side so you can click individual aspects. So let's take this. If you hit F, it will switch it to the other side of the board. So let's do this for this jumper and hit F and move it on to the back side as well. Move it down below. And if you click on all these words, you do the same. I like them on the bottom so we can put graphics and everything else on the top. Our through hole LED, we won't be able to, to change that much. So let's just move it off to the side here. We'll put it down towards the corner. We'll put it there. This way it can be mounted on either side of the board. And this is our other LED. Let's flip it around. And let's put it on the top and this over here on the side for now. And let's put the resistor right up. by the pad there. Let's rotate this resistor around and put it right up by this. So let's flip it so it's on the back side. Same with that. Let's move the R1 off to the side here so it doesn't interfere with the other aspect. Let's take this reference of jumper two, per off to the side. Let's grab that R2 and move it up and put it on the side as well. Okay. Then you can click on the things that you don't want to see, like the resistor, and then hit delete on those aspects. So we really don't care about viewing them at this time. Okay. And this NC, we can delete it as well. That's for not connect. And then this D2 will be at the top and this D1 will be at the top. Let's move the D1 over onto the side so we can put a graphics. Here in the middle, when we get to that point. The other aspect to set up this board, just basically, just come over here and you want to add a fill zone. I like to do a copper ground fill zone on the board on both sides, just to get everything ready and done. Okay. And then let's route everything. I don't route the ground because the, the pore will fill in the ground aspect. And here I just want to make sure you're on the right side. So let's go on the bottom copper. Just route these basic ones together. Let's do the normal command aspects. I like to put the via right there on the pad. In this case, because they're so large, this way you don't have to deal with it. Let's just route these. Let's route this one close to the LED here. So we might want a little graphic here in the middle once we get to that point. Okay, once we're there, we can do a via. Let's do that with the clock here. Let's do it on the top. If 
this to help with some aspects. Let's get another via there for the clock. Let's go under. Let's go up the side here. Try to make it good. And then the 3.3 .3 volt. Let's throw a V in both of those. And let's route it on the top there to there. And this. Right off to the side. Let's go to the other side for that. All right, right through. I do like to leave a little bit more room to the ground. There. Okay. Now let's run the DRC up here. Design rules checker. Big aspect. Once this runs, we can see all our violations. We see some thermal relief that we'll need to do. This is where now we can add in these little vias. I like to add two per region. This to make sure it ties it all together and give it good thermal relief. Kind of avoid your your pads there. Okay, that should be good. Now we can rerun our DRC, and we should get a few of those errors gone. We have no unconnected, which is good. So now we have some issues with only one layers. This is where you can go through as I ran my clock a little too tight here. I should have probably ran it a little looser. So now I can come through and let's fix that. So this looks much better, give us a little bit more ground plane, hit save, run the DRC again. That should remove, well, it keeps it about the same on errors. To fix some of these, you just have to run wires. to these vias to help anchor those ground pins to the right aspect. And here too, they want
do a, a few more connections. There, save, run DRC again. There we go. Now we should only have edge boards, which I'm okay with. Let's close, Let's, uh, save, and then you can come up here to view, 3D viewer, and see that our board is set up right now. In step two, we'll go over how to do graphics, get graphics in, and do the rest, fix any layout issues, and do everything else. Thank you for watching. This is the end of step one of making your own mini badge.